Are you just tired? Hey there, I'm Sharon Pope. I help women who are struggling in lonely and disconnected marriages get the confidence and clarity they need to either fix the struggles in their marriage or be able to move forward without regret. If you like what you hear, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Two people decide to get married. It means they've chosen each other to spend the rest of their life together. But then several years into the marriage, what started out as two people being inseparable now becomes incompatible. My name is Sharon Pope. I am a master life coach and a seven time best-selling author on love and relationships. I help women who are struggling in their lonely and disconnected marriages get the confidence and clarity they need to either fix the struggles in their marriage or lovingly release it without regret. You can go to clarityformymarriage.com to explore if there's a fit for you and I to work together today. So today we're talking about when you just feel so, so tired, tired of it all, right? So I had a, a member in one of my membership programs express to me, I'm just so tired. I'm tired of just existing. I'm tired of not feeling like a priority. I'm tired of a feeling of just a lack of desire towards my husband. I'm tired of trying and nothing ever changing. I'm tired of the difficult conversations that always seem to end the exact same way. I'm tired of feeling like I do everything around here and that I don't have an equal partner standing with me. I'm just tired of it all. Now, this is not the first time I have heard something like that be expressed. And maybe you're feeling that way in your own marriage. Now, we assume that that tiredness is from the problems and the struggles inside the relationship. And there is for sure some truth to that. But I also think that we can become really exhausted when we are consistently suppressing our feelings. When we suppress the truth, when we don't express how we're feeling or how we want it to be different, or we don't express our needs because we want to keep the peace. I think we get exhausted when we make excuses for our partner's bad behavior, because if we really looked at that consistently bad behavior, then we might have to make some changes that maybe we're not ready to make yet, or have some difficult conversations that we don't feel prepared to have yet. I think we can get exhausted when we are just in our heads and we're just thinking and overthinking and second guessing our decisions in every element over and over and over again. I think that's exhausting. You know, if you think about it, when we're just treading water, eventually that gets really tiring. But when we're actually moving forward, when we're actually swimming and making progress, it doesn't even matter how small the progress might be. As long as we're making progress, I think as human beings, that little bit of progress gives us some energy to keep going to keep showing up, to not give up on ourselves and our dreams and our desires. And really, I think that that's what I help my clients do is to make real progress, to get out of this place of indecision where they are just stuck, to either start leaning in and showing up in the marriage in a new way to see if it can evolve and feel better, or to begin moving through the process of gently unwinding the relationship. I help them make the decision that's right for them. Not my judgments or what I think they should do, but the real decision that they can feel at peace with, right? So if you have been feeling just tired and exhausted, I want you to really get underneath that. Don't just take it at face value that like, he's the reason I'm exhausted or the problems between us are why I'm exhausted. Yes, and. What else is exhausting you? What feelings are you trying to stuff down and carry? What truths are you not speaking, right? And where is it that you feel like you really want to be making progress, but you're not? Look, you don't have to work with me to make progress. There are a lot of ways to make progress, but get committed to making progress or get committed 
to staying in exhaustion. All right. I hope that that is helpful for you. I hope it gives you something new to chew on and think about. If you like what you hear, I hope you will subscribe. If you would like to know every time we post a new video, you can click the button in the upper left corner at the end of this video. But one more thing. I wrote an ebook that is absolutely free that I want you to get. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, right? But it is called Three Things Women Want Men to Know for men and the women who love them. Because I think when we understand one another better, then we can be in relationship with one another better. All right, until next time, take really good care.